Data Labs, much like any other company, doesn't get everything right. And today we're talking about one of those things, the Theta Edge node for Android app. The idea is that users of the app earn TFuel, which is the native token of the Theta Edge Cloud network, by providing the idle resources of their mobile device in order to complete tasks on the Edge Cloud network. Now that sounds fantastic in theory. Here's the problem. I have been using the app, and to put it bluntly, it doesn't work. And even if it did work, nobody knows it exists anyway, but more on that in a second. First of all, let me quickly show you how it's supposed to work. You download the app from the Play Store, then as soon as you open it up, it creates a wallet for you, and as long as the conditions are met, which by default is Wi-Fi on and the device charging, then it should immediately start processing tasks. Then once a task is complete, you'll see the T-Fuel in your pending balance. That works absolutely great for about 10 minutes, then it just stops and never works again unless you reinstall the app. If you reinstall the app, then you lose the tokens that you had before because there's no way to import an existing wallet. And even if you do reinstall the app, it does about six tasks and then stops working again. It's almost like you install it and then it's programmed to fake a few tasks just to look like it works. And that's not just my experience. If you read the reviews on the Play Store, everyone's saying exactly the same thing. You start it up, it does a few tasks, and then it stops and doesn't do anything unless you reinstall it again, losing your previously generated tokens tokens unless you export the wallet every time, and even if you do want to export a wallet from the app, you can't use their own Theta Wallet app, because that only supports a 12 word seed phrase, and the exported phrase that it gives you is 24 words. Future me jumping in here just to say that I did actually leave the app open for another 24 hours, and it did complete one more task, so I guess it does technically work. It's just incredibly slow to get tasks, which kind of further backs up my theory that the first few tasks might be faked. Anyway, everything else in the video is still completely valid. The whole thing is just weird, because even when you click on one of the tasks, it's always object detection for some random piece of stock footage, and it gets it wrong half the time. It seems to find a bicycle in everything, not really sure why. Now look, it's still very much in beta, I'm sure they'll fix a lot of these bugs and it'll improve over time. It's just a bit disappointing to see them do such a lazy job at it, to the point where I feel like I could have made this app myself, and I'm not even a dev. Anyway, I made a video about three months ago now talking about the upcoming release of this app. In that video, I was very positive about the concept itself, and overall I still am positive about the concept. But in that video, and several videos before it, I was critical of Theta's lack of marketing efforts targeting retail investors. You know, the people who are actually going to be using the app. I was hoping that the release of the app might change their approach a little bit, since there's no point even having an app if nobody uses it. Unfortunately, I was wrong, and that hasn't been the case, so now we're in a situation where we've got a useless app that doesn't work, but it's fine, because nobody knows about it anyway. Which is a bit bizarre when you think about it, because I'm sure they said something like, unleashing the power of Edge Cloud to 3.9 billion Android devices, which would imply to me that they're expecting a lot of users, but, you know, who needs users anyway? We can only really hope, going forward, that they are able to fix a lot of the issues with the app, and maybe, once they've done that, they might bother to market it and capture some of those 3.9 billion Android devices. As much as I've criticised this, I still think there's a lot of potential in this idea, if they can execute it well. And they have been progressing with the Edge Cloud in other areas, forming new partnerships and all that good stuff, but it's been quite obvious for a while now that their focus is on corporate partnerships, and they really don't care too much about retail and this new app that they have. Despite having a big countdown timer on the front page of their website for a month, advertising the launch of the amazing new Theta Edge node for Android, the way I'd describe it, it feels like they're a bit lost at the moment. It's like there's two completely separate teams, one focusing on development and the other focusing on the business side, and they just don't communicate with each other at all. As for the price of the Theta token, I'll cover that in its own video very soon. Go ahead and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss that, and also check out some of these other fantastic videos here. I've been me, you've been you, thanks for watching, and see you later.